Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to replace this chandelier. The reason I need to replace it is because the height is too low. Uh, as you can see, um, when I'm standing here, uh, it's very easy to bump into these metal things. It's extremely painful. So I'm going to replace this. The first thing I'm going to verify is the power is shut off. I can use a contact voltage meter and then verify there is the electricity running through. So I'm going to turn on the breaker to make sure there's no electricity running through the wires. I have shut off the power from the breaker. Now if I touch again the wire, there's no electricity running through it. As you can see, what is holding the weight of the lamp is this uh, metal bracket. Um, in order to disconnect this, uh, I'm going to um, take out, uh, unscrew the, the mounting bracket uh, simply by turning it counterclockwise until this whole line can drop and then I'm going to disconnect the wires uh, using a wire cutter okay now I'm simply just going to turn it until the lamp can drop from the mounting bracket You can see the gap is getting wider and wider. This is how it looks after we screw off the lamp from the mounting bracket. As you can see, um, currently the weight of the lamp is held by the electrical wire. Uh, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the wire. Uh, and then have someone hold the lamp down here and then I can um, take off, remove it. Um, the better way to do it is to connect the black and white wires uh, deep inside. Uh, but I think um, it's uh, no problem just to cut it. Okay, I'm going to use one hand to hold the weight of the lamp and the other hand I'm going to cut the wire. That's it. This is how it looks like after we remove the old lamp. As you can see, we have two black wires. The polarity doesn't matter because it's running on AC. Uh, then we have a bare wire um, and that is the ground. So what we'll do is we'll connect the two black wires uh, with the replacement lamp. As you can see, uh, it's the same, you have two black and one ground. Simply strip the wires and then uh, use one of the electrical connectors, uh, split line connectors and uh, reattach them. To install the lamp, uh, I'm simply uh, going to lift it up and then I'm going to turn clockwise until the center of the bracket is screwed to the lamp. Then uh, the weight will be held. Turns out the mounting bracket is not the same. Uh, the reason is the center cutout for the uh, lamp to go in is, is the diameter is too small. Uh, what I need to do is uh, replace the mounting bracket which has a slightly larger diameter. As you can see, I need the mounting bracket with a slightly larger diameter in the center um, because the more weight on the newer lamp, uh, I need to have a, a bracket which is uh, larger. I have installed the new mounting bracket uh, and I verified this is the right diameter. So now, um, I'm going to just screw in the replacement lamp into the bracket simply by just turning it. Okay, as you can see, I have the new chandelier mounted. Simply just screw in, uh, keep on turning clockwise until the screw is uh, get into the, the mounting bracket. Uh, this is how you look. Keep screwing a uh, clockwise direction until you have um, the clearance uh, of the mounting bracket. Then you can let go, let the chandelier hang. 
Then next step is you simply connect the two wires. Um, there's two black wires um, coming through the ceiling and two black wires um, coming from the lamp. The ground uh, is bare wire. You can simply just twist them together. The last step is uh, twist the two wires together and use the electrical cap make the connection together. All right, simply twist the wires together and then use the electrical cap and screw it in place. Perfect. Here's the final look. Everything went pretty smoothly. The only difficult part is to screw in the newer lamp uh, because the weight of it is quite heavy. You need another person to help uh, and lift it from the bottom. Uh, another trouble I ran into is the mounting bracket fastener nut is too short. Uh, it's, there's not enough clearance to screw in the into place to hold the uh, ceiling cover. Uh, for now, I used a clip, a uh, paper clip, to hold it in place while uh, I can think of an alternate solution. Um, so, final look, um, everything's work. Um, it's easy DIY, two hour type of job. and. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.